Welcome to this new episode of Heart Conversations. As of 1st August, we have a new parish priest, Father Paul, from the MEP Fathers, and today I will be interviewing him to ask him a little bit about who he is, his life journey, and also to hear what is his hope for this parish. Good morning, Father. Good morning, everyone. I'm Father Paul Ngo. I am 48 years old. I am from Vietnam. Firstly, I did not want to become priest when my family wanted me to be priest. From I was young, I was altar server and after that catechist. So when I decided for my future and the calling came to me, and I reflected on it, and I found that to live your life for God is happiness because I saw the priests, I saw the religious sisters, they are happy to give their life to serve people, especially the poor people, and I can see they were filled with joy. That's why I decided to follow Jesus. Because when I decided to become priest, and you know, at that time in Vietnam, it was very difficult to enter into the seminary because the government gave a quota every two years. There were only have 10 persons to enter into the seminary. In my diocese, we have around 400 uh, waiting to enter into seminary, so have to wait. And I waited for five years, and at the same time, I did not want to waste my time. I decided to go to university to learn English, and after five years, it's my turn to enter into the seminary. But my bishop at that time decided to send me and with other three seminarians to go to France to study. So 1996, we were sent to France to study at the seminary of St. John Marie Vianney at Arc. So I spent seven years uh, to study in the seminary in Arc. And after seven years, I went to Paris and the MEP fathers gave me scholarship. So I studied three years in the university and I got my master. Uh, biblical theology, and after three years, I was ordained in 2004 in France. After my ordination and my studies, I could not go back to Vietnam, but I love Asia, so I told myself I have to discover Asia, and I asked my bishop to allow me to join MEP fathers, so they decided to send me to Singapore. So when I came to Singapore, I was assistant priest at the Church of the Holy Trinity for five years. At the same time, I was a chaplain for French community. And after five years, I asked my superior and bishop to allow me to go to Taiwan for two years to learn Mandarin because I want to serve Mandarin Mass. So after two years, I came back to Singapore and Bishop assigned me to be assistant priest of the Church of the Christ the King for four years. And after four years, I was transferred to the Church of Our Lady Queen of Peace for two years. And from 1st of August of this year, Bishop assigned me to be parish priest of the Church of Immaculate Heart of Mary. My favorite food is a chili crab okay. <laughs> and durian. My favorite places is East Coast because I love sport, I love cycling, I love running and I love the sea, so it's my favorite place. My hobby is to do sport, 
go, go swimming, go cycling, go running, and watch movie, sometimes China drama. I have two. Uh, firstly, I have uh, one toy poodle. It's lucky. It's my sister's birthday gift for me. After that, I have angel because sometimes I felt lucky, so lonely. So it's better to have angel to be with her, accompany her. One pair is better than to be alone. Firstly, they stay in my office, but now here the room so big. That's why I allow them to stay, sleep in the room with me, not on the bed, eh? in the room. Firstly, Bishop asked me to go to another church, uh, not this one. Maybe by providence, because I always trust in God's providence, and I ended up at the Church of Immaculate Heart of Mary for me is my joy because the first time to be parish priest, I'm happy because the bishop have trusted me and confidence in me to allow me to be in charge of this community. And I thank God for this uh, responsibility. And I pray and ask God continue to help me and also I need your help, your support. We are one community and we are together, we serve together, we journey together and let God continue to guide us to do what is good for the community and for people here in this parish. For me, to be priest is to be with Jesus, uh, to be united with Jesus and you love God and you want to share God's love with people. That is the foundation of my vocation. Before to do other things, it's a Jesus sent you to do. Mm -hmm. For me, the love of Christ and the love of people are the foundation of my spirituality. Be with people, to know people, and to guide them, and to help them to grow in their faith, and help them to fall in love with Jesus. Because for me, it's very important, if you don't love Jesus wholeheartedly, it's very difficult to grow in our faith, in our charity. Oh, I'm very happy, very peaceful. I found it's very nice a church. I'm very lucky because the other priests before me, they did everything. Uh, they built, they renovated the church, and they put everything in place. So I don't have a lot of worries for it. Now what I can do is to try to know the community slowly, the people here, and to know them and with them what can we do better for this community and bring people together and everybody have a place here in this parish and they can contribute and they can build their church together. My vision, my hope is to hope people have Jesus in their heart. And I hope that this community will be, become a Christ-centered community like Mother Mary. With her help, maybe we say yes to Jesus. That is very important. And we are together to, to serve God, to share God's love and to reach out to people around us. Thank you. Thank you. So we hope you enjoyed this conversation and hopefully soon you have an opportunity to meet Father yourself as you come for one of the Sunday Masses. Please like this video and leave a comment in the comment section and subscribe to our channel so that you remain updated about any upcoming videos.